It is not every day that Assistant Warden Ramesh Tapa gets news like this. The arrest of a notorious poacher. For someone constantly struggling with poachers, to hear that the one they have been after for many months has finally been caught was almost too good to be true. Ramesh heads off to take custody of the poacher, along with the National Park Chief Warden and the Colonel of the Army Unit that provides security for the Bardia National Park. Despite a long-standing arrest warrant against this particular poacher, he had managed to elude arrest. It was with a little bit of luck that he was arrested by the police in the neighboring district of Sirket. The police brought him to the police post in the village of Chepang and informed Ramesh about his arrest. The biggest irony is that the poacher had served as the chairman of his village development committee and should have been a role model of a different kind. Bardia National Park is the largest protected area in Nepal's Terai. Established in 1976, it covers an area of nearly 1,000 square kilometers. It is spread over the three districts of Bardia, Banke, and Sirket. Its western boundary is the mighty Karnali River, and it is home to 53 different kinds of mammals and 407 species of birds. Among the more significant animals found in Bardia are the Royal Bengal Tiger and the Gangetic Dolphin. Bardia is also home to the one-horned rhino and is the place where rhinos from other parts of Nepal have been successfully translocated. Assistant Warden Ramesh Tapa has worked in Bardia National Park for over 20 years as a ranger. He spends each morning at work catching up with his administrative duties. He then sets off on a patrol with a group of soldiers and a couple of game scouts. One of the game scouts in the team alerts Ramesh about a trap on the trail ahead. Traps are a constant source of worry to Ramesh. Although locals often use snares to trap smaller animals, poachers use such traps to capture wildlife such as tigers. That is why Ramesh and his team are always on the lookout for traps. Having their traps destroyed repeatedly is also a way of discouraging potential poachers. In the course of the patrol, the team visits an outpost which is jointly manned by soldiers and game scouts. Ramesh gets updates from the scouts on the problems they have been facing and their need for a solar electric system to ensure continuous power supply. <laughs> Game scout or go. Newnetam other with the absolute part of the Paripurti Garekatum, 
तर अब चाहे अब जस्तु ये सोलार को व्यवस्थापन कर सकते छेन र मुख्य कुरा तो अब इन आवश्यक पानी एकदम नब न संचार उपकरण ये चीज उपलब्ध करा सकते छेन प्राय सब पोस्ट का ही यहां खाल समस्या Ramesh next meets an anti-poaching unit formed by the local community with the park's help. This particular unit had reported coming across a net trap the previous day. Ramesh goes with members of the unit to remove the trap. Yo bishesh gari chital le hinne baato ma paso thabe. Ramesh then has a short chat with the group, warning them against unwittingly hosting poachers from elsewhere since any illegal activity can implicate the whole village. Over lunch at the park headquarters, Ramesh and his team talk about the arms collection program they are going to attend after lunch. However, once back in his office, Ramesh receives a call informing him about poachers near the park. There is an immediate change of plan and he and his team rush off to apprehend the poachers. By the time they arrive in the village, the poachers have already fled. But the team manages to confiscate the contraband, a sack filled with tiger bones. मारने <laughs> कुरुमा मानसिक को थोले में कोई शिकारी पोजर प्रयोग ना हो रहे यहाँ कोई शिकार करने बेड ने ठाउं पंच है ना बेड ना पंच सकते हैं नहीं ऐसे रे आमले छापा मार दा हरी आमले सुचने पाक आधार में चाहिए इन्हें लग पकड़े मंदे हूँ कोई तो बागी दारी नहीं सार वसा दरन मानचेर होने कर दशन तर इस बात मुख्य लाभ पाव An essential part of Ramesh's job is to maintain friendly relations with people who live around the park. There is a natural conflict between conservationists and communities living close to the jungle, since the very animals the park seeks to protect can also be a source of trouble to villagers. <laughs> It is only when locals also realize the value of preserving wildlife that they can become allies in the fight against poaching. For one, they can report poachers to the park authorities, but more importantly, since most of those involved in the actual act of poaching are locals paid by unscrupulous traders from outside the area, it is only with their full cooperation that such activities can be controlled. <laughs> Although delayed by an unexpected raid on the poacher's hideout, Ramesh and the team arrive at the venue where the arms collection is to take place.
या परंपरा का दिन हथियार आए रहुँछन पहले देखूँ बाटा कामिले बना का हथियार आए रहुँ ठाउँ ठाउँ बाटा जाए का हथियार आए रहुँछन ये हथियार आए अब आई दून ये हथियार आए परेग नहीं करने पाए देना अब आपका कानूले ये दिन तब आए को घर में छापा मारे अब आए हथियार ये उटा बरुआ बंदी बेटी हों सात बरसा कोई दून जा तो इस तीन दिन नावस बनना कल आएगी तब ये दिन तब आए तेरा चीज जनवरी अब आए दून दिनुस बने रे उटा चाहिए यो अभियान संचालन के काम घर के काम रहा आप उसे वहाँ का जो हथियार है बुजुर्ग वक्त में वहाँ संपूर्ण दाज बाहर है मार्दिक धन्यवाद देने चाहिए धन्यवाद the collection of weapons from local people is of grave importance in conservation efforts. Now, with the possession of even traditional firearms having become illegal, the park authorities have provided an opportunity to local communities to give up their weapons. As this is a rather sensitive issue, Ramesh instructs that the names of those surrendering the arms not be mentioned in the files and only the number be recorded. Lava. जैसे मान लो, बंदूक दिन। It is a matter of consolation that there has been a gradual decline in poaching with the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Accord in 2006, that ended ten years of armed conflict in the country. But the goal of zero poaching will be difficult to achieve if arms are still in the possession of potential poachers. That is why the collection of arms has been encouraged by the park. As part of the effort to increase awareness and disseminate information on the need to conserve wildlife, the park has helped set up eco-clubs among school children to involve them actively in the anti-poaching drive. These clubs spread anti-poaching messages in schools and among their own communities by undertaking awareness rallies and staging plays. सबै इको कलाको साथीहरु मिलेर बाघको संरक्षण गर्ने, गिद्धहरुलाई बचाउने, जुरी शिकार नियन्त्रण गर्न हामीले सजग नाटक पनि गरेका छौ। विगतमा अब नेपालका अरु क्षेत्र जस्तै बर्दे राष्ट्रिय निकुञ्जमा पनि जुरी शिकारको ठूलो चाहिँ विभिगि थियो। ये उटा तब नेपाल में दोनों दाव की स्थिति होती है इस कारण ने बने अलग इतने छोले चेदी बा और पश्चिला दिन और में हमने चाहिए के रोना नहीं थी और आप अक्तियार करें कहते हों तेज कारण ने कहा था कि पोचिंग की स्थिति तो अब विस्तार विस्तार सुनने थी रा जान दे चाह हमें ये सरी ने सुरक्षा दिने गए अनि ये घड़ियाल गोई और को विभिन्न चारा चरिंग जून लोप उन्मुक्षण तीन और लाइज़ हैं बचाव न सकते हों सिकारी और उसने तो ही आमने सामने पर लड़ाई करने पर नहीं होना सिकारी और लाइ उन्हें कोई लेकर उन्हें अब धेरी गुंडा आरु को बीच में बच कर उन्हें तीस तो ठाम बाटे में सामान्य ले रहा आउने पर सा हमने राती को समय में अपने कार्य उन्हें लाइज़ हैं कैप्चर करने पर तीस तो स्थिति में चाहिए अलग अलग जोखिम पर नहीं होना चाहिए हमले चाहिए कती पे अब चाहिए मारने किसी को धमकी और पे ना हो जाए तो इसका लें जोखिम बनना पड़े हम रहते हैं जिम्मेवारी ठुलो सा तो इसका लें हमने जिम्मेवारी पर आगाह हरी तो जोखिम ले हमने चाहिए अलग अलग ताले रख सों It is the end of another long day for Ramesh, and he is finally able to return to his living quarters. Few outside the Bardia National Park would know of him, but there is little doubt that without people like Ramesh, the park would not be what it is today. Night falls over the National Park, and the morning sun will bring another day, and who knows what kind of challenges, to this brave conservationist. <laughs>